leftovers, or that wouldn't be leftover there. That'd be made to order. Hey, it's going to be sunny and dry for the big travel day on Wednesday. We go into Thanksgiving. It's going to be comfortable across the entire state. Colder with snow to the northern and eastern portions of the state Friday night into Saturday. That looks like the big time for it. So uh, here's this area of high pressure underneath it. It was uh, pretty quiet, and we'll see this continue to edge over our region for tomorrow. That being the case, it's going to be milder. Lots of sunshine going into Thanksgiving. The high pressure scoots away a little bit to allow a few high clouds to work in from time to time, but very comfortable conditions if you want to get outside before Thanksgiving and uh, go for a workout or a run. It looks really enjoyable for that. 31 is where we're going to start the day as we get to the afternoon. Daytime highs above average by a couple degrees. We'll top off around 57 degrees, but a decent amount of sunshine. The winds will not be overly strong, so uh, really comfortable November conditions across the area. Okay, here's your future track planner, statewide planner. You'll see cold conditions around 7 o'clock in the morning. As we advance it toward the noon hour, we get on that steady warming trend, and by 4 o'clock, we'll have sunshine and dry conditions and warmer throughout the entire region. So, very, very comfortable across the area. As we go ahead and look at Thursday, Thanksgiving itself, we'll see temperatures at or above average throughout much of New Mexico. Dry conditions, good for your travel weather. And then we get on into Friday. Notice it will be still uh, quiet and cooler throughout parts of the state. Look at the temperatures going into the 30s, 40s, and 50s, eastern parts of New Mexico. There's a snow around the Four Corners region. And notice that uh, this would be Friday night on into Saturday. Most of the snow will accumulate across the northern mountains, but there will be some rain snow mixes around Santa Fe, Albuquerque, on into northeastern parts of the country before of the state before it starts to dry out and at least back off as we get into the latter portion of the weekend. We'll see overnight lows very cold tomorrow morning. The teens and 20s notice that we get to Friday. It's going to be Friday night on into Saturday morning with those rain changing into snow showers before it kicks out for a time. Southwest we'll see temperatures back in the 50s and 60s from Socorro to your sea on into southwestern parts of the state. Pretty comfortable over in Silver City. You could get clipped with the showers that passes to the north of your area by Saturday. Southeast 55 over in Ruido. So we'll see temperatures in the 60s and notice that those 60s will start to drop as we get into Friday and Saturday continuing into Sunday. So cooler air will be taken over the region. A little bit of a chill statewide. It'll be cold northeastern parts of New Mexico. Overnight lows in the teens and 20s, daytime highs. Look at this. We go from the 60s to 36 degrees on Friday and increasing rain into snow showers on into Saturday before it uh, cools and quiets down thereafter. 58 tomorrow over in Taos, 59 Española, comfortable in Santa Fe for a couple of days, but Friday night into Sunday, those rain snow mixes before it starts to taper off later in the day on Saturday itself. And the metro area will start off cold, giving way to a comfortable afternoon. Thanksgiving, mild as well, and still mild on Friday, but Friday night on into Saturday, some scattered rain and snow mixes depending on the time of day, tapering off as we get into the afternoon. And the chill is on for Sunday, Monday, on into Tuesday. So very mild for tomorrow before a cool down over the weekend, Shelley.